Okay, so hello friends. Today our topic is the types of the skull fractures. So let's see what are the types of the skull fractures. So first one is the fissure or the linear fracture. Okay. Next is depressed fracture. Next is communi comminuted fractures. And next is pond fractures or indented fractures. <coughs> next is gutter fracture. And next is ring fracture. And the last one is the hinge fracture. So let's see one by one. What uh, so first one is the fissure fracture or the linear fracture so the, as the name implies <coughs> the linear this the skull will be just like fracture is a linear single line fracture in the skull next one is the depressed fracture so here you can uh, understand this uh, the, the area will be like depressed anything heavy weapon like hammer will cause the depressed fracture Next is comminuted fracture. Comminuted fracture will look like if this is the hitting point, then if this is the hitting point, then the look like this. The skull will be fracture in multiple lines. So this will be called the comminuted fracture or the spider web fracture because it looks like the spider web. Next is spawn fracture or the indented fracture. So here you can see the indented term. So basically what will happen? indented will occur okay so in uh, this mostly seen in the infant skull because the infant skull is uh, elastic in nature so example during the delivery by obstetric obstetric forceps next is the sutural fracture or the diastatic fracture so it will it will involve the uh, sutures of the skull so here you can see the if sagittal suture is involved then it will cause uh, sagittal suture fracture okay next one is the gutter fracture so it will form a gutter like shape in the skull of the in the skull okay outer surface of the skull so it mainly caused by the bullets so here this so mainly it is just a fracture in the outside like this okay, this is called by caused by the bullets mainly Next is the ring fracture. Ring fracture is caused by the injury of the foramen of magnum. Okay, so this is called the ring fracture. Next is uh, hinge fracture. Hinge fracture if the midline of the anterior one, uh, anterior one half and the posterior half, half uh, the midline is there. If the midline is getting fractured, midline is getting fractured, then it will be called the hinge fracture, and it will look like this. Like by which the uh, hinge joint look like this is called the hinge hinge fracture okay so that's it for the lecture of the skull fracture tribes so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel